we've talked so much about inflation already today but you know we cannot overemphasize the um effects that inflation has on yeah. the economy and also mm -hmm. on our investments mm -hmm. so you know um, can you provide insights um into the potential effects of inflation and interest rates you know um, the changes on the yeah. global investment decision yeah it does i mean locally and globally i mean Inflation just sometimes means we're getting poorer. Oh right? so yeah. It's the past. Say that again. <laughs> do you do like investments ahead? Yes. As a matter of fact, um, you do investments and you plan your funds. So for instance, um, maybe you want to take a trip middle of the middle of the year. It helps to start putting money together like November, December, depending on your income level. There are people who can just get up and buy their tickets and go. There are others who would have to plan. For me, how it has really worked for me is like, if I know I'm traveling, mm. I don't even know my destination yet, but I know mm -hmm. I start to put monies aside in yes. my quadrant mm -hmm. money market mm -hmm. fund. Yes. You know, so every month I put something out of my salary, mm -hmm. you know, into that fund. And yeah. then once I'm ready, once the trip is almost here, mm -hmm. I want to book my ticket. I just mm -hmm. go there, do a redemption. Mm -hmm. In less than 24 hours, I get mm -hmm. my fund. This is about capital appreciation over time. Mm -hmm. And that is something people really want to cling to, and that's why they put real estate into their portfolios. Again, you have low risk, medium risk, and high risk mm -hmm. in all forms of investments. Uh, investment, yeah. you know, and that's the same thing with real estate. But if you're quite keen and you work with the right people, you'll be able to stay ahead of that.